Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Growing up, my sister and I were just about as close as any siblings can be that are five and a half years apart. As soon as I learned how to crawl, I followed her around so much that she was forced to tie a string from her doorknob to her dresser in order to stop me from entering her room 24-7. <laughs> when my sister first learned how to read, I was always sitting on the couch beside her, holding up a book as well. She was always kind and considerate enough to never point out that my book was upside down. <laughs> No matter what, my sister was there for me as my best friend, number one constant and role model. Thank you for always believing me in me and for giving me the confidence to believe in myself. Thank you for being the best sister that anyone could ever ask for. I love you. I'd just like to start by saying I do remember that fateful night uh, not too long ago when I did have to drag your ass out to a house party to get you to meet this girl that all of us who didn't know Maya knew had quite the crush on you. <laughs> Steven, you've been my best friend, person I've looked up to. I couldn't ask for a better role model, a better best friend. I love you with all my heart, bro. From the first time my sister saw you on Canterbury's football field, she was immediately smitten with the hot guy with the FSU hat. <laughs> <laughs> and who would have thought that her little crush at 16 would bring us all here today? I wanted to say I appreciate how happy you make my sister. From agreeing to the innumerable amount of couple pictures that she likes to capture, to taking care of her when she's tipsy off of one glass of wine, <laughs> you are a true gentleman. <laughs> Today our families grew and I'm happy to welcome you into ours. Maya, you are beautiful and <laughs> I've never seen more true love than I've seen in you the two of yours eyes. I'm looking forward to seeing that look in the two of yours eyes for the rest of my life and the rest of yours. I love you guys. Congratulations. Destiny, fortune, chance, luck. If you asked me about this six years ago, I'd have told you that these concepts I didn't put much stock in. 2010 was a year that did not start out very well for me. I was in my junior year at Florida State University and had been having a rough time. I felt a lack of direction in my life and knew deep down that I needed to make a change. Little did I know that things were indeed about to change. Enter the woman who would change my world forever. The woman who would help me find the strength I needed to dig myself out of a rut and build a life together that would take us to incredible new heights. To say that Maya is the woman of my dreams doesn't do her justice because all too often, that woman that men dream about is too simple. 
Maya is indeed drop-dead gorgeous, but my love for her grew as a result of traits that were much truer and deeper. Maya challenged me. Simply put, Maya is the type of woman that makes a man want to be the best he can be. There's a purity to her that is hard to describe. She is kind, wise, and extremely loving. A woman unlike any I've ever met or could hope to meet ever again. I knew at my core that I'd strive to be my best self because that is what she deserved. It was the summer of 2010. I had recently succeeded in snagging my long-term <laughs> crush, formerly known as Ryan Trevathan's hot older brother. It's safe to say Stephen captivated me from the beginning. He had a deep strength I was not used to seeing in guys my age. He was confident and straightforward, yet kind and gentlemanly. Thank you for taking care of me. Thank you for taking out any spiders that dare enter our apartment. Thank you for taking flowers to the airport when you pick me up after long trips. Thank you for taking our children into your arms the day they are born. Thank you for taking my breath away. Thank you for taking me to be your girlfriend in June of 2010. Thank you for taking me to be your wife today. Thank you, Stephen Robert Trevathan, for taking me on the adventure of a lifetime. I would not hesitate to say that I am the man I am today because of her love, wisdom, and support. Maya is the woman that I want to spend the rest of my life with, the woman I want to build a family with, and the woman I would do anything for. As we enter this next phase of our life together, we are indeed prepared for whatever we may face. Why? Because we have each other, and that's all we will ever need. So. If you were to ask me today about destiny or chance, what would I say? I'd say that a seemingly chance decision one summer night ultimately led me to discover my destiny, to explore this incredible world and life with Maya, the true love of my life. I'm not even sure exactly what year it was, but when Chris and his family joined St. Thomas Church, we were also going to that church. I remember quite well sitting behind Bettina and Sophia and Maya and looking at those girls thinking, wow, what beautiful girls. And then there was an opportunity to several times talk to Maya and I thought, geez, Beautiful inside and out. This would be a great girl for Stephen. <laughs> and but then she showed up several times with a boyfriend. I'm like, oh come on. Not at church. Yes, at church. <laughs> Maya had gotten to know each other, just uh, talked a little bit, and Stephen, of course, was at FSU, and I found out that Maya was going to FSU, and I said, Stephen, you should talk with Maya. You should get to know her. She's a wonderful girl. And, you know, of course, what boy wants to hear that from his mother? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I remember we were in the courtyard at St. Thomas, and I knew actually that Maya had had a crush on Stephen since she was 16 years old. So Leslie came up to me, and at that point we really didn't know each other as well. And she said, "You know, we should get Maya and Stephen together. I think they would, 
They would really be a good couple. And I could not say, yes, let's do it, because Maya has the biggest crush, because I could not, um, you know, betray her confidence. So I didn't say anything. Um, but I remember actually the, the um, day when Maya came back from the party that we've heard and she said, I just got a text from Steven and he invited me to the movie, but I don't really know that I want to go. And I said, why not? She said, well, we're having a good relationship, we're friends, but um, he is just such a knockout and I don't know that he would be serious about me. And I was like, <laughs> and I said to Maya, Maya, just go to the movies. You don't have to marry him. Maya, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. And with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Stephen, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. And with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now that Stephen and Maya have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of a ring, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, may I, not, may I now present Mr. and Mrs. Stephen Robert Trevathan. Stephen, you may kiss the bride. Thank you.